Morning everyone, I hope you can hear me okay. I'm using my mobile phone this morning because the video camera I usually use said it had full battery. And then I did probably about four or five little clips for B-roll and then it suddenly said that it was on low battery. Uh, so that's probably poor planning on my part, but I've got my mobile phone so we should be okay. The quality will probably be a bit different, but I've got my microphone set up and hopefully you can all hear me, hear me okay. Um, so it's 2022 now um, and it is a glorious morning, there's no clouds in the sky whatsoever and yeah I just thought I'd come out to uh, one of my local spots this morning just to get out and about with my camera and just to be outside in relatively good weather. Um, it's been really overcast, cloudy, it's cold but I don't mind that. But yeah, it's just nice to come out and have the sun, you know, hitting my face and it's lighting up uh, the river really, really well. So yeah, like I said in a previous post, I was out with my camera um, on New Year's Day, but I just wanted to enjoy my time outside um, with my husband and just walk around the woods, take a few pictures and the blue tit is one of those pictures that I took on that day. But yeah, I brought my, well, I did bring my video camera out. Obviously it's not working for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do my first video of 2022. So there's been pretty much all waterfowl birds. There's been uh, Canada geese, um, there's been swans, um, obviously mallard, and I've heard a coot somewhere when I was leaving uh, the car park. And there was a lot of buzzards. There was quite a few buzzards on my way in. And yeah, it's just, it's a lovely calm day so I'm thinking if there's anything out in the sort of wooded area um, like typical woodland birds and they'll be showing quite well they're not feeling as though they need to be sheltered from the weather at all so yeah I think I'm gonna there was a couple of people walking up that way but I think I'll walk along the riverbank anyway and um, and then cut into uh, the area of woodland uh, just off the riverbank and yeah, I'm excited to see what else I can find. So just while I'm heading along the riverbank, um, just wanted to do a quick mention uh, for all my YouTube followers. Oh, a bit muddy. Um, yeah, I'm now reaching nearly 700 subscribers now, which is absolutely crazy. I seem to be adding at least 100, or I'm getting 100 people following each time I put a video up. So I must be doing something right. Um, but as always, truly, truly grateful. And yeah, it's just, you know, only going for half a year and I've enjoyed every minute of it. I think looking back to my first video, you know, I really wasn't sure that anything was gonna come of it. I had low battery that day as well. And, and, here I am now, um, you know, doing doing more content and it's it's obviously working. And yeah, I'm really grateful for everyone who's followed me or is following me on YouTube. Um, those who have found my Facebook and my Instagram, really grateful for that as well. And yeah, just a quick mention, I'm just coming up to a wooded area now, so I'll uh, see if there's anything else on the river in the site it's just mallard and there's a mute swan coming down so yeah thanks again <laughs> so i just got some really shaky video footage of a great spotted woodpecker in the row of trees behind me and i could hear it i could hear it making the beep beep and um yeah it was feeding um bark off of the tree and all the, you could see like the trunk bit 
or one of the thicker branches was uh, stripped. Um, so yeah, that was that was really nice. Like I said, the video footage is really shaky because I got I got my 150 to 600 lugging about, um, but I did get a couple of pictures of it too. Um, so if they're good enough to show, then I shall show you. Um, but I'm just about to enter the woodland now. I'm probably not going to talk very much, just in case there's anything in there, um, like any other birds or possibly uh, something like a, a muntjac. But um, yeah, that was really nice to nice to see my first proper picture. Um, yeah, while I'm while I'm at my local spot, so really happy. just found the spot, little bench, um, I hope you can hear me okay, I'm keeping quite hushed because there's quite a few ground birds feeding, there's robin, there's blackbird, there's just lots of, it's really still. Sorry, I keep hearing it's like rustling going on, but I can't pinpoint where it's coming from. Um, so yeah, it's like it's really still here, which is really nice. Um, oh, there's a squirrel in the tree above my head. That's what it was. I was so confused. I didn't know where the sound was coming from. I don't know if you can... He's like up here somewhere. <laughs> oh, that explains a mystery. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a moment just to enjoy the quiet. And... Um, yeah, it's just got me thinking about what I've got planned for this year. There's nothing really concrete, like I have locations that I do want to go to and, you know, species that I would like to find, but I'm not, I'm not feeling in a rush to get them, you know. Um, I just take in each day as it comes and just simply enjoying each time I'm outside. I'm not putting any pressure on myself to get any, you know, amazing pictures. There's obviously pictures I would like to get. I think that's a, a goal for any photographer. But I just think it would be nice just to enjoy the time rather than putting pressure on myself to, you know, I have to get a perfect picture every time. And I think by doing that, I could end up falling out of love with it. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying my time. I'm enjoying the stillness. I'm enjoying, you know, breathing in fresh air and then just waiting to see what comes around like the squirrels. So, yeah, it's, um, it's just really peaceful this morning anyway. And I think any time I go out to, whether it be a regular location or somewhere new, I'm just taking it all in. I'm taking in any sounds, smells, any sights, and it just makes the whole experience more memorable rather than, you know, planning it out step by step. I just want to enjoy my time and then if I end up getting something that I'm really proud of or that I'm, I'm really happy to share with others, then I will. If not, I'm just happy to be outside. I don't know if I can, <laughs> sorry, but he's all the way up there. Yeah, he's just there. <laughs> I'm not really in the 
right angle to get any pictures of him but uh yeah i think i'll uh i think i'll hang out with him for a bit and then um head further in into the woodland and then um there's another body of water so yeah i'll go and head around there in a bit I don't know if you can still hear them, but I just had a small flock of long-tailed tits. Um, too quick to get a picture, um, and also too quick to get a steady video. But while I was trying to find them, um, there was a gold crest as well. Um, it was it was too far in to get a picture. But that was really nice. They're the, they're the smallest bird within the UK, absolutely tiny. And um, yeah, that was really nice to see. Like I said, no picture because they are also one of the fastest moving um, <laughs> birds that we have. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep walking around and then um, yeah, I'll see if that little flock of long-tailed tits come back and hopefully a gold crest we'll see look at the teeny tiny tracks there's a lot of them here but yeah I'm pretty sure this is muntjac and they look relatively fresh so could be following the direction of one I walked along here probably just before the sun came up. Oh, I just had a, a chat with one of my subscribers. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, it's, it's a bit weird. To, um, he was, he's local to the area. And, um, you know, I was sort of sitting, I was standing on the bank and a gentleman was walking up. So I gave, gave him obviously space. And then, uh, yeah, he just said, you're on YouTube, aren't you? I said, yes. And yeah, we just got chatting about, you know, how how we got into doing a bit of wildlife photography and and uh, yeah just enjoying the time outside so uh, it's still a bit surreal to sort of think you know someone's watched your videos and then you get to meet them and it's yeah uh, it's just a really nice uh, a nice experience to have and and you know to talk about things that we both enjoy so yeah it was really nice um, so I'm just coming up to a body of water now. I um, haven't really seen much else. There's been the odd field fair, and uh, there's also been a couple of species of owl in the area. But I'm probably not going to be able to see them at this time. If I'd come a bit earlier, they might have been more noticeable. But um, a bit muddy again. But yeah, I'm just going to carry on through, see if I can find the long-tailed tits and maybe, maybe that gold crest again, that'll be nice. 
Just minding my step. <laughs> Bit muddy. Oh. I just got back to my car. Oh. You don't know how cold it is until you're actually out of the wind and you can't feel anything. Anyway, um, yeah, I really enjoyed that little walk this morning. I didn't get many pictures, but I don't mind that. Um, I think I've just been so uh, reluctant to go out when it was really grey and uh, cloudy. It was just nice to have an opportunity to go out when the sun's out and yeah, just enjoy my time outside. Um, so I think I've got a couple of pictures that I'll put up at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed uh, the first video of 2022. Um, yeah, nothing really to sort of say, oh, it was amazing, blah, blah, blah. Um, I mean, the gold crest, to see the gold crest was really nice. And uh, to see the, the woodpecker as well. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just nice to be out. Um, so I'm hoping this weather stays. If it does, then I do have another location in mind that I would like to go to sooner rather than later. And if that's the case, I will obviously uh, take you guys along. Um, um, yeah, I'm just, it's been a nice relaxing start for me for 2022. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye for now.